Chapter 1 Computer Languages and Their Types Topics Covered Generations of Computers Programming Languages Required to Communicate with a Computer Language Processors of a Programming Language Let us first recall the generations of the computer that we have already studied in the previous class. Generation of Computers Features First Generation 1940-1955 Used Vacuum Tubes for Memory and Circuitry Punched Cards Paper tapes and magnetic tapes were the i o devices. Machine language was used. Very expensive, huge in size and slow i o devices. For example, UNIAC, ADVOC and ENIAC. Second generation, 1955-1964. Use transistors for circuitry. Magnetic cores and magnetic tapes were used as primary and secondary memory devices respectively. High-level languages such as FOTFAN and COBOL were used. Faster, cheaper and smaller in size. For example, IBM Charsaw and Honeywell. Third generation, 1964-1975. Used integrated circuits, ICS, for circuitry. Keyboards were used as input device, and monitors and printers were used as output devices. An operating system was used. Small in size, large in storage and faster. For example, Apple I and Honeywell 6000 series. Fourth generation, Unis Sopach Hattar minus Used very large scale integrated circuits, Verzix, for circuitry. Used high capacity magnetic disks for memory. Very cheap, very small in size, portable and reliable. For example, Apple Macintosh and IBM PC. Fifth generation, Unis Saoik Kyanbe onwards. Uses ultra large scale integrated circuits. ULSEX for circuitry. Languages such as C and C, Java, NET, ETC are used. Consists some basic technology of artificial intelligence. For example, laptops, MacBook, and Chromebooks. Programming languages of a computer. A computer is a mechanical device that cannot perform any task by itself. To make a computer functional, some information or a set of instructions is input into it. These instructions altogether comprise a program and they further form different computer languages which are known as programming languages. Each of these languages has its own set of vocabulary and rules which is known as the syntax. Computer Programming Languages Machine language, 1GL. Assembly language, 2GL. High level language, 3GL. Fourth generation language, 4GL. Fifth generation language, 5GL. Machine language, first generation. A computer programming language which is written for the computer's hardware is known as the machine language. Some features of a machine language are given below. It only consists of binary instructions, 0, 1, which a computer can directly respond to. It is the only language which can be understood by a computer and hence, it is also termed as a low-level language, LLL. It is very difficult to learn, write and fix a program in machine language. It is not a portable language which means that the program written on one computer may not execute on another computer. Thus, machine language is a machine-dependent language. Cybertech Bits The machine language only consists of 0s and 1s, binary digits as the computer can only understand binary digits. Assembly Language, Second Generation 
a low-level programming language used in the microprocessors or other programmable devices of a computer is known as the assembly language. Some features of an assembly language are as follows. It uses pattern of letters, ideas, or associations called mnemonic codes which help in remembering simple code. It is also a machine-dependent language. Assembly language needs to be first converted into machine language to be executed, for which an assembler is used. High-level language, third generation or 3GL. A high-level language, HLL, is a language that helps in creating programs less dependent on a particular computer system. Such languages are considered high-level because they are closer to the languages a user can understand. Some features of the high-level languages are given below. They are easy to learn and write. It is machine-independent language and hence, is portable, that is, a program written on one computer can be executed on another computer without much modification. Some examples of the third generation language are C, C++, Fortran, Pascal, COBOL and Java, etc. Fourth generation language, 4GL. A fourth generation language is the easiest of all languages for a user to understand, learn and create. Some features of the fourth generation languages are given below. It is designed to lessen the usage of time, effort and cost of software development. These languages are commonly used in database programming and scripts. Some examples of fourth generation languages are SQL, Focus and Iris Explorer. Cyber Tidbits Today, many languages are a combination of both third and fourth generation languages, for example Java, Python. C++ and BASIC Fifth Generation Language 5GL The fifth generation languages are programming languages that contain a graphical or visual interface to create a program and are used mainly in artificial intelligence research. In these languages, rather than specifying a set of rules, an application is built to solve a problem by providing limitations to it. For example, Prolog, Ops 5 and Mercury Language Processors There are some languages that can only be understood by the user and not by the computer as the computer can only understand binary digits, 0 seconds and 1 seconds. Hence, there is always a requirement to convert such languages into machine language. A language processor or language translator is designed to convert such programs mostly written in high-level language, into machine language. There are three types of language processors. Interpreter An interpreter translates a program in high-level languages into machine language by taking one instruction at a time, converting it into an intermediate code and executing it. High-level language Interpreter Low-level language Assembly language Binary language Compiler A compiler works similar to an interpreter and converts a program in high-level languages into machine language or a low-level language. The only difference is that it takes the whole source code as input at once and executes the program. High-level language Compiler Low-level language Assembler. An assembler can only translate the programs written in an assembly language into the machine language. The output of an assembler is called an object file or object code, which contains a combination of instructions for the computer as well as the data required to place these instructions in computer's memory. Computer Instruction Assembler Binary Digits 0 seconds and 1 second.